After a week of heavy rain and wind and conditions not suitable for spraying, I wanted to share with you an easy makeover anyone can do with an all-in-one paint. And this is what we're starting with. To start, I am going to remove all of the doors and the hardware. Of course, this is particular to my piece, but I went ahead and removed the back because it had a hole in it and I will be replacing it later. To clean my piece, I am using a TSP substitute. Remember, it doesn't matter what type of paint you will be using, it is always recommended to clean your furniture to remove any dirt and grime to give the paint better adhesion. I'm gonna go ahead and start scuff sanding, but I am gonna be using a sanding sponge and sand everything by hand because th there's too much design around here that I just, I don't wanna take out the sander, do half of it with the sander and do the rest without it. So I think it's just easier for me if I just used a sanding sponge. So I'm just gonna go ahead and sand everything and then we're ready to start painting. Scuff sanding is super important as well to give your paint something to adhere to as opposed to a slick surface. All-in-one paints does not mean you shouldn't sand. It means it includes primer paint and top coat. There are some exceptions for this rule where some paints have such excellent adhesion that they do not require any sanding, but be sure to check the description of whichever paint you are using. All right, so I'm pretty excited to be using this color today. I'm gonna be using Melange Paints, the color Restoration Bronze from their One Collection. So it's an all-in-one paint, so all you have, you don't have to prime, you don't have to top coat, it's all included in the actual paint. So I'm pretty excited to see how well this actually works compared to their mineral line and how easy to work with it's gonna be. Um, I'm going to be brushing it on, and so I feel like testing this out with a brush is really going to get to show me how well this works now if this works just as well as their mineral line i'm probably going to be obsessing over it as well um, it's going to make the process a lot easier i've heard a lot of great things about this new line that they've recently launched um, it's been out for a little while but i think they're adding more colors to the line um, it's obviously going to be pricier because it does include everything in there i've already mixed it so let's go ahead and start working on this
Just like a regular paint, I still went ahead and lightly sanded before applying the next coat using a 320 grit sanding sponge. I did notice that this paint has a nice satin sheen to it, so if you're not a fan of a satin finish, you may not like this one in particular. I used Barkeeper's Friend to bring shine back to the hardware and feet in wax to give the inside a nice finish. I measured and cut to size the backboard to replace the old one and place the hardware back to place. Now let's take a moment to remember what the sideboard used to look like and what it looks like now. So this project took me about three to four work time hours and this is definitely something a project that you could do in just one day. I split it throughout the week because as some of you may know, I typically work on my projects whenever my little one is napping. Now, whether I think that this paint is actually worth the price because it is a little bit more expensive than regular paint um, is kind of relative. I mean, I think it depends really on what you're looking for and what your needs and wants are for paint. Some things to consider with all-in-one paints is that you can significantly decrease your work time because you can avoid or you can skip having to do primer and top coat and you only have to worry about applying the paint. Now, some other things that you may wanna consider is that you shouldn't be avoiding cleaning your furniture regardless of what type of paint you're using, whether it's an all-in-one paint or just a regular type paint, um, and also scuff sanding. Unless the specific brand can guarantee you that scuff sanding or sanding at all is not necessary, that's something that you may want to look into before you actually purchase the type of paint. This paint in particular was super easy to work with. It was no different than their mineral line, at least not to me it wasn't with a brush. Um, some all-in-one paints can be sometimes a little bit more difficult to work with because the work time isn't as long. Keep that in mind when deciding which brand to go with. So hopefully you found this video helpful in helping you decide on whether to use an all-in-one paint. Thanks for watching. I love you guys and I'll see y'all next week. Bye. Be kind.